Psalm 119, verse 155. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. God, as a righteous and holy God, can never tolerate sin. And with this truth, the great chasm was created, which cannot be bridged. Even angels who rebel against God are not spared. 2 Peter 2.4 For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but cast them into hell, and committed them to chains of gloomy darkness to be kept until the judgment, God hates evil that He created hell to eternally damn those who disobey and rebel against Him. But because He is love, He authored salvation that through His Son, man can have a way out of Hades and be offered access again back to Himself, only if He will believe and obey. So hell is separated from heaven. Therefore, those who love the deeds of darkness and the ways of wickedness will surely be put away from His loving presence. Revelations 21.8 But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for the murderers, the sexual immorals, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. This is a profound warning that needed to be heeded. If salvation is far from those who are roguish, that means only one thing. They will be placed in the eternal wrath of God, where there is no escape forever. For His holiness and righteousness will repel and contain them there. But He has given men the commandments to live by and a standard reference of a way of life that would glorify Him. The statutes of the Lord give life and life everlasting. They speak about man's ultimate salvation in God. No other written testimonies that could offer a way back to Him but His. Man has no other option but through His Word. Departure from His truth, even how little it is, is turning to wickedness. It may start from little discomfort of some parts of His Word. Then the sleeping becomes subtle and smooth. Eventually, you lose interest in living by it, yet you still believe you love God. You continue to slip further, now denying the power of salvation in His Word, and you look for salvation from created things. You see God's Word not enough to satisfy you, and you are driven crazy by your lusts. You don't see any more neglect of His Word, roguery. Be careful. You can only deceive yourself, but you cannot deceive God. Salvation is getting far away from you. Matthew 7.22 On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. May we learn to love all of His statutes, His Word, for it gives life. Never neglect it. Teach it to your children day and night. Believe everything in it, for salvation is in there. God bless us all.